Here we are in the climax of the story. Sorry we had to cut it off last time, but things were getting pretty long. Anyway, forget messing around. We're just going to go. Also, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm the Opinionator. And I'm Wee Squared. Long? Really? You got Igor's face on the screen and you make a long joke? You're, you're kind of stretching something out in order, in order to... Uh, <laughs> to uh, complain about that, right? <laughs> I suppose so. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? Well, and in fact, did you actually die? Do you remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Well, fill me in! Indeed. Your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. So what's going to happen... It, like in the future like this has to be corrected if they released his name otherwise he's going to be like a walking dead man yeah. a man with that means that he has no citizenship yeah. he'll never be able to say like vote or receive like i don't think he can go to a hospital i mean it's okay not we have having... politician and doctor friends I guess, but it's like, like not having, not having an identity. Yeah. But I mean, I'm sure it won't stay that way. Anyway. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Okay, well, we understand the how. We just don't quite understand the why. Well, we but... don't really fully understand the how yet. Well, that's true, but we have a de we have a better idea of the how than we yeah, do the why. Yeah. So, show us your stuff, Phantom Thieves. Well, then. Let us rouse the memories which are missing. Thank you. Let's see the grand plan! Right? I'm actually pretty happy that we were able to correctly get as much of it as we did, you uh -huh, know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because we actually did get a lot. Yes. The first time I sensed something was off. Well, that's right. It was during the school festival. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they're going. You realized it too, then. <laughs> it was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. I like how they really are filling it in exactly. Yeah. We can't trust him because of the pancakes incident. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. It was your social studies trip. We met him in the hallway of that TV station. Uh-huh. There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. This whole deal feels sketchy. Or maybe a catchy? <laughs> I okay. mean, we even talked about that at this time. Yep. We should be very careful. Yeah. You know, I remember saying before that when it came to, uh, like, the gentleman thief and his law enforcement rival, uh -huh. you know, I brought up Lupin the Third and, and Zenigata, and Zenigata yeah. like, Lupin isn't Lupin without Zenigata. Yeah. But, I mean, when Zenigata ends up working with Lupin, it's, uh, it turns out much better for everybody involved. Right, right. Okay, let's get everyone on the same page right away. There's something else we want you to look into. I'm really glad they're going over every one of these scenes. Me too. And then, poof, the memory barrier gone. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Okay. Right. Hmm, that'll be tough. Because we knew that when Futaba grabbed his phone... She was doing something to it. But we didn't know what at the time. Yeah. We really need it, though, and you're the only person who can do it. Right? I agree. Hmm. I mean, he's dropping all our freaking conversations. I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. Well, really, it was just that LeBlanc was bugged. Well, but, that's true, that's but true. But at the time, it sure seemed like, like she had access uh -huh. to everything, which if she did, uh, it would have been really interesting. So it's impossible even for you. Oh, no, no. I didn't say 
it was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's perfect. Keeping it secret? Come on! I'm the main character! <laughs> you can't hide it from me! I'm the leader! <laughs> I'll never whine like that again. Much. Don't worry. I'll tell you the details later. Because we already know the details. Futaba's gonna do something? I wonder if it'll be okay, but it this was. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> I see. Right. So we're going to use this place. So okay, then the then the pulse was possibly to just pop them out. Anyway, that means we were right about the whole using Sai as a vehicle, and yeah. that's why they didn't steal the treasure thing, or something like that. Using the palace as a vehicle, at least. Well, yeah, using the palace. It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. Futaba created a cognitive. I see. It seems you finally remember. Well, there would have been no point in Makoto talking about the location of the room and keeping it in her mind if right. it weren't to create that in her yeah, inside yeah. his palace, so... This game is not over yet. There are still things that must be done. We still have some confidants that we need to match. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. Hey, Igor, <laughs> you have to tell us stuff like you you you're the one who's told me to go and forge links of I'm gonna go on. Hit the button. <laughs> That's right. This is what really happened to me at that moment. Life bomb! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was there the whole time? <laughs> or did he use a ketchup bomb? <laughs> well, if uh if there was a fake guard, then that means that the gun was fake too. So the gun could fire whatever they wanted it to fire. But he was still all bloody. Yeah, it could have been a paint like paint or some sort of fake blood bullet. Is that how it works though? It was all a cognitive construction, so they could probably make it play out however they wanted. We are going to be able to have some more time to finish off those last confidants, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now, come on, leak his name. He went down easy. I heard they arrested one of the Phantom Thieves. No way! I didn't expect him to commit suicide. He's a murderer. He deserved to die. We can finally breathe easy now. He killed himself, huh? Guess we'll never know his motivation. Ah, they'll probably have forgotten about all the Phantom Thieves by the time this is resolved. Right. Ah, I'm exhausted. It feels like my consciousness is about to fade away. <sighs> hey, are you alright? Don't fall asleep until we reach our destination. Are you listening? this be the effect of the drug wearing off? The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back, and I think there were still one or two other scenes that we needed to go through. <laughs> are you listening? Uh, what were we talking about? You weren't paying attention. Well, I guess I can see how you'd be lost in thought right now. Anyway, we need to talk about how to get out of this situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a plot to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill Jiro-kun. 
fame the Phantom Thieves? Yes, of course. Or the Phantom Thieves? If we go into Sis's palace, as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. I've infected you! To chill a fill down my spine! Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. Really? If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. Well, that answers our question about how he was, how Gino was actually arrested in Sai's palace. Yeah. Man, at this point, there's going to be our entire army <laughs> wandering into the metaverse. So this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura. Then, once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time. Just like we said, of course. Man, I really hope someone picks up that phone, because I called it! <laughs> the whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Did you say homicidal? I don't know what you're talking about! Come on, we gotta take down that bested to catch you. Down. I put an extra down in there. We it's had two recording. episodes <laughs> of nothing but voice, and now, now we can no longer read lines. Isn't that recording we got enough proof to do it? No, a catchy is merely a tool. A really big tool. His orders come from elsewhere, the grand mastermind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect of a police station. Of, of, of. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Hakechi. So here's a question, Billy. What do you think of the fact that we knew it was Bla- I mean, it's not- let me, let me try that again. It is extremely obvious from the beginning, it is, it is like, not even hidden that Shido yeah. is, like, if not the boss, heavily involved in it. I mean, mm. as it turns out, he's the boss. Do you wish- that it had been a surprise. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I was quite shocked when I found out uh, in 4. Right. Who, who the hubby da bubba was. I figured it out, actually, but the way I figured it out, and I was really proud of that, but the way I had figured it out was actually process of elimination. <laughs> I, just, I just pegged locations and people, but... I mean, it's like... It's like... It's like if you're playing a Castlevania game, and you're like, Oh, what? The final boss is Dracula? Oh, what a shocker! It's like, duh, of course. Uh, I, I don't know, just for a game like this, I'm, I'm just kind of eh about the fact that we were able to correctly deduce that it was Shido. What do you mean you're kind of eh? What does that mean? My apologies. Uh, I would I much prefer it to be a surprise, or at least something that isn't so blatantly obvious. To be fair, I mean, it was clearly told to the to the player, which is why there being such a big deal about the, the characters figuring it out yeah. makes it maybe less satisfying yeah. because it's not as much of a big deal to the player because the player's known the whole time. Right. But that's not really how it works when it comes to, say, like a lot of TV or even some movies or books. Mm -hmm. Where, where, because, like, typically the, uh, I'm going to say the viewer, which isn't right, necessarily right. the correct term, but that's just the one I'm going to use. The viewer generally does have more information. That's true. Than, than, like, the protagonist. So that's not really any different there. I, I guess, I guess the one that was really the surprise is Akechi, but we already addressed in the previous episode quite a lot of stuff about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it would have been nice to actually get a surprise. Like, you want to know what would have really done it for me? Mm -hmm is if the person who had that heart attack and the middle shutdown was Shido. Yeah, yeah, I mean... That would have been a surprise. I had a theory many episodes ago that maybe the SIU director was secretly the one behind it all, TM. That would have been really interesting because then they would have set up Shido the entire time yeah. and then pulled the switcheroo on you. Yeah. Like, while Akechi's talking to him on the phone, it's also like, oh, and by the way, and then Shido's like, ah, and thud and falls over. Right. What a great plot twist that would have been. Oh, well, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. But 
What means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. Though, once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I... Like over his phone to the mastermind in question. Yeah, and Shido was like, don't use my name. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. Yeah. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Yeah, yeah, all of that is correct. Damn it! So we don't got a choice but to go with that bastard suggestion. But if we go into the palace as told, Jiro will get arrested and then murdered by Akechi. Palace. The palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding... Aha! We can use the palace to our advantage! What's this all of a sudden? There's a way! A way to get past Akechi and get the mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity. Really? You gotta be kidding me! If he wants to kill Jiro, why not let him? That is, inside the palace. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive Jirokun, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it! It seems that's our only option. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. Hmm... Now, obviously I really like Makoto. Right. And, and she is... She is... Uh, this is like basically the secondary main character, right? Right. Like deeply involved in in every storyline and its execution after her uh -huh. appearance, with the exception of one. But it doesn't matter. So, in the end, she even thinks up the big plan. Shouldn't this one have been on Joker? Yeah. Joker really should have been the one to think of the plan. Yeah. Instead of this, well, I get why why you're spacing out. Right? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I mean, I, I understand the spacing out thing. Of course the spacing out thing is for, because of the, like, woo, 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 because, you know, memory manipulation. Right, right. Or not manipulation, but you know what I'm saying, the truth serum. But is is he going to have a chance to actually show that he's the leader of the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> right. Or is really Makoto the one who's quite honestly the leader of the Phantom Thieves? Because she sure seems like it. Right? Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Huh. Well, she's one of our confidants now. That's true. We did max her out after all. For Sojiro to actually be able to trust her after what happened, that's... She did save Jiro's life. Uh, yeah, she did. She did. No, there's no question. I mean, we knew from the beginning that she was going to be on our side. Uh-huh. Just because of that's how it was presented. So. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm glad that she finally, that when she made that switch, when she awakened to true justice, yeah. it was like, bam -o, and then she starts going out on a limb for us because it's the right thing to do. And I'm really glad for her. Waiting upstairs. Go tell him to come on down. <laughs> He's hiding in my fridge. <laughs> I'm going to fetch him. <laughs> You're her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. I don't recognize you without all the bondage gear. <laughs> I wish that Makoto was sort of in front for this. Right? Kutabachan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. And that's the first thing she does is apologize for that. It was wrong. She knew it was wrong. Yeah. When she did it, she was just completely lying out her butt to try and get something out of Soju. Eh, it's ancient history now. <laughs> Besides, not only is she helping him out, uh, not, not only did she save Gino's life, but she straight up admitted it and apologized. It's all good. Man, that goddamn detective. Look who's here. Ta-da! 
In a school uniform, no less. Hey, <laughs> you big bastard. <laughs> I half expected him to have on like a cheesy mustache or something. I guess he was captured in a school uniform. Yeah. Because he shouldn't be wearing a school uniform. Right, well, that's what he would have turned back into when he left the metaverse. Yeah. 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 How have you been? I have had the weirdest weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I died. There was that. You must be fine if you're joking around like that. It truly is a relief to see your face. Have you ever slept in the metaverse? I have! <laughs> I wonder what you dream of in the metaverse. Real world! <laughs> I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. You're right. Still, how'd you pull this off? I like how Sojido is really in the loop, but he would have, have to, to be. be. Yeah. It's like, okay, don't freak out, all right? <laughs> and since they didn't release his name. Yep. They didn't release his identity, so it can't actually damage Jiro. Yeah. Since they haven't said his name. You're right. Isn't this guy considered dead? <laughs> well, some guy is. Some That's person true. accused of being the ringleader of the Phantom Thieves that is dead. That must be what Sai did. You weren't told anything? Oh, you're right, because who had that signed confession? Mm hmm And, um, well, no, the police were like, here, okay, no, they had the confession. But I guess there's no reason that he had to write his real name. I, I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. Okay, so that means he didn't sleep in the metaverse, which is probably much healthier. <laughs> I didn't have time to explain. <laughs> well, she was bringing him, wasn't she? Yeah. Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? <laughs> What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. The, the what? What? Oh, he. Well, yeah. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, he'd have, he'd be familiar with it from enemy fake. What are you talking about? <laughs> the true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit. I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. Yeah. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Maybe. He messed up. No, I don't like that. He was too suspicious. Yeah. I mean, ultimately. Was, yeah. Just... Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. Just too frequently, and, mm -hmm. he, and he kept proving that to be true, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, we're not going to talk about that anymore. He made one fatal mistake. Pancakes! But Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. Because like they said, we needed to trace him back to where... Yeah. ...where he was getting his orders. Because that's the person that has to be taken down. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides... Neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? Right? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. Like, she had to go through all of that to be brought to this point. Yeah. And, and that was time-consuming and difficult. Yeah. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. We didn't have a choice! God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? I like how he's like still so far behind, but he's trying to be involved. Hmm. Are we going to have time to do any more confidants? Surely. Well, the reason that I ask is, what would happen to some of the scenes in Sojiro's confidant like some of the later scenes if you haven't done them when he's thinking about oh you know that they're all separate like in and his that's final kind of issue in, in his yeah. final one he's like hey you wouldn't be no no way but maybe it's just that you can interpret it differently depending yeah. on where in the story you are nah well he slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice 
You mean a cat? <laughs> okay, nobody ever told you about the cat. Okay, Metaverse, you got that because, I mean, you knew Wakaba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know you were at this research center as like a government liaison. So you okay? You you you've, you've handled that. You already know about the whole Phantom Thieves thing because we've dealt with this already. I guess we may as well tell you about the cat. Yeah. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. And I like how Sai is like, yes, it's a talking cat. <laughs> you surprised? Does that mean he said okay. something just now? <laughs> as well? But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, oh. you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition. Most likely. <laughs> so that's how it works. Gotcha. But now it's been clarified. Yeah. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> okay, so if that is the way it works... Then that would mean that he would... That he had been spying on them then. Or he knew Morgana before they ran into him in the first palace. Either of those are correct, yes. Or could be correct, yeah. One of those two. Yeah. Morgana doesn't know, but... Or do, doesn't know him, but well, Morgana... He doesn't remember. He's an, yeah. has, has got amnesia, so... Well, then our catch, he was even like, ah, it shouldn't be a problem. He, he's just, he's a, just cat. a cat. So I doubt that it was that. But that's possible. That could be the case, and I wouldn't be that surprised. Yeah. So he was following the Phantom Thieves around, but how did Possibly. he know where the Phantom Thieves were then? See, we weren't surprised. Or, hold on. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. The reason that we had assumed that you had to be a Persona user to hear Morgana talk is because of that scene with Akechi. Right. Because we thought there's no way that he would have already known... Morgana. Morgana. Right. And, or, or, um, so, so the fact that it turns out that you just have to hear Morgana talk means that Akechi obviously would have had to have heard him talk at some point right. before then. When did that happen? Was that was that it was before, before Madarame? He, yeah, it was that's what I was getting there. at. So it, it was, so how would he have been around in the it's common probably, Sheeta section? It's probably he knew Morgana before the others ran into him. Because there's no reason that he would have had anything to do with Kamoshida at all. Right. That meant Akechi had already been in the metaverse by then. Meaning that Meaning that Morgana is connected to all that stuff yeah. in whatever way it is, okay. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. Of course, we're not surprised that Morgana is, is connected to something like that, whatever, right. what, however it may be, because I mean, we've been assuming that too. Right. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. His story was too good, frankly. I guess. He did approach us when we found ourselves in the worst trouble yet. That's why we asked Vitabachan to wiretap his phone. Actually, um, you approached him. He didn't approach you. Right. Well, okay, that, I mean, once he had already come, then he did call you yeah. in the room, but... I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. It was so exciting. Wee. <laughs> Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Yeah, I was about to make some sort of a joke about that. I mean, what did she have to do? Just, like, make a quick... Ah, I'm not gonna worry the about that. quirky nature proved to be a great help. That's one of those details that... That one, I'm, yeah. I don't care about. It doesn't matter, whatever that it is. just an act! The... Uh-huh. After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Oh, I forgot to mention, when I said earlier 
when the in the cutscene when it showed Futaba uh -huh. and like looking at her phone and everybody's nickname was there uh -huh. and I and I said I said that because they were all in Japanese you know right. I said it was everybody's nickname Yusuke was in there as Inari of course of course then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act it's a good thing that the police are so just following orders e to not question going into another goddamn dimension yeah that's pretty that big deal weird. <laughs> In fact, when we first heard that line, uh, this, I mean, we actually didn't quite catch it that the police were being drawn in there because there was so much other stuff yeah. going on. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yeah. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. Though it appears that he has moved to, like, Puerto Rico to live a life <laughs> out under an assumed name. <laughs> <laughs> so they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Maybe that guard will end up having, like, his own series about it. <laughs> Like, you know, it goes to his shady past and, like, currently he's, like, a something of, like, a crime-fighting assassin <laughs> type. Well, then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. And no one will question it until we use the mental shutdowns for our own gain again. Well, it, it would be fine as long as they don't need to do that. That's why if by eliminating everyone they want ah, to have eliminated now. I see. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone... Yeah, when we were seeing the stuff leading up to Sai's palace, it looked like it was exactly the opposite. That Akechi was being extremely calm and rational and yeah. smooth, and that Sai was the one who was getting, like, a little hysterical. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Man, yeah. that... That still bothers me, though. But I, I said it all in that previous episode. Don't need to go over it over and over again. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. I don't fully get it all, but I understand enough. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she is super, super interested at this point. Right? Curious, sorry that's the for word. I'm using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. <laughs> what conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's very true. Yeah, yeah we even pointed out how drab it was. Yeah, that's right. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Ah! With Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That must be why the police didn't notice anything untoward. Yeah. They So they didn't really get... Because, like, outside and inside... Like, in most of the... Okay, okay. Because with Kamoshida's palace, it wasn't warped till you actually got to it. By sending, by sending the police in... They're not in, like, some crazy other world. It's like some interesting phenomenon is going to happen. But it's like everything still seems like normal, so that makes it less weird and dangerous yeah, to yeah. use it on the... And like you were talking about, about the follow orders. Uh -huh. They didn't really understand it was a supernatural world. Ah! How... Yeah, not How nostalgic. 
You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. And like Kaneshiro. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. And like Kaneshiro, if there weren't any of the ATM people around, it looked like regular Shinjuku. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. Same with Madarame's as well. I mean, all of them, apparently. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Not gonna lie, I seriously think this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. It's good we have her heading up our operations. Basically the leader, which... I still just have really mixed feelings Look, about. David, if one piece has taught me anything, it's that the leader only needs to be good at fighting. I guess there, I guess you can apply the uh, one piece tactic as well. Yes. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. What an understatement! <laughs> I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Oh, for goodness' sake! Makoto even has the rivalry with the villain. Yeah, you're I just right. I couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. And she actually did just sort of stay quiet stewing. Mm -hmm. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I guess she fixed it! The question is, did they go ahead and take the treasure? No, they didn't take the treasure. They'd have it. So yeah, they just left and she fixed it herself. Yeah. That's just fantastic. That's I'm awesome. really glad that this worked out for her. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. I mean, people like her are who they need in the legal system. Yeah, exactly. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you used the data from my laptop? Well, I mean, what? Yes. <laughs> who else could it have been? Of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm ah! while we were checking the metaverse. Okay, that is amazing! <laughs> First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Oh. Yeah, that's why That's why they, uh, they'd hopped out. Oh, I see. Yusuke, Makoto, and Futaba yeah. were like, okay, everything set them. Because otherwise his fake would look like yeah. Joker. Yeah. Or so, sort of? Maybe? Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. The fake was a fake, and I and and the fake came from the fake was always going to look like Nakamura Jiro, yeah, because the the because the cognitive yeah, yeah, yeah. Jiro was created because Sai knew he was there, right? Because this is in Sai's palace, right? Um, but where where Jiro actually was was in the real world, so. Well, yeah, if Akechi was in the metaverse, he wouldn't have actually been interacting with. Oh Jiro. right, no, no, that okay. That's why the clothes. That's why the clothes needed to be there because otherwise yeah. Akechi would have walked in in his metaverse outfit. Yes, one of them, whichever one. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without Akechi knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work: a perfect cognitive replica. <laughs> Of him in the metaverse's interrogation room. I love those glasses. I, again, yes, those are good. I'm again. This had to have come from Sai, right? That yeah. Was... Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. You know, I was trying to say something a moment ago, but I'm pretty sure it was just a jumble of words arranged in an apparently random order. Uh huh. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. Because of how Sai views people. They looked no different from actual living people. Yeah. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. And in the party! Aw, oh, yeah! Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. So did something wrong happen? However, it was ah. then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Okay, they d there were a couple lines like that uh -huh. while this was going on, but if they would have taken the treasure... But they couldn't get it out of the metaverse. 
I know, oh. I know, but I'm saying, mm. why would if they took it, then wouldn't it actually make the plan not work? Yeah. Because the except that was all. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand, and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. <laughs> yeah, I thought that this was yeah. that this was the plan, and for her to suddenly say like it wasn't right it was just a quick turnaround on us. The operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. <laughs> and just as expected, he totally took the bait. He really did get completely played <laughs> in the thieves' grandest moment. <laughs> yeah. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation? The phone. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it seems like she used this laptop <laughs> to remotely access the metaverse. Can we have more scenes like this, please? I love how Futaba looks evil yeah. there, and how Sae is like... A man. <laughs> is the look on her face. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. A catchy disposed of the <laughs> fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. <laughs> and he's got the sharp teeth. Yeah. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. I mean, nothing happened. Surely he was acting <laughs> quite by himself in that quiet chamber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't die. I mean, because we kind of did once. Ah, that's part of the experience, all I could right? Do was try yeah. to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, I've been to the metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. Yeah. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. We know That's this. True. We know this for a fact, as it has happened. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately yeah. aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. Oh. It's too bad that uh, th that her shadow was, that she didn't get a chance to talk to her shadow right? and gain a persona while she was yeah. in there. <laughs> I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's the way to put it, yeah. Pretty awkward, but that's it. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. Us too, apparently. <laughs> True. Why is that? Because he was doped up on drugs. Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. Max Charm! Now, we know at this point, because because the interrogation has been going on throughout the entire game, uh -huh. but the thieves had no idea. Yeah. Makoto was sort of hoping Sai really is a good person, mm -hmm. and her, she she really like fervently believes in justice, and this matters to her. The only thing you can do is just convince her, and that's what it, the whole thing was riding on. Yeah. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. We knew that it was going to work because of, like, her personality. Yeah. We'd been getting that throughout the whole game. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? Short? <laughs> Maybe to you it was short. Drugs! I was because of you. I see. Yeah. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. We didn't have a choice! <laughs> what else could we have done? If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yeah. Yes. Plus, 
You had lost control of yourself at the time. <laughs> yeah. You were going a little crazy. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. So something they haven't really gotten to is addressing the whole Shido thing. Well, they don't they technically have, know yet. Well, didn't they already get the name from the... We haven't seen... They haven't... Futaba has not been like, and here is the culprit. Uh, yeah, so yeah. we don't know if she's even checked yet. They haven't made it yeah. that far. Yeah. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill of it. <laughs> but what did you do about the body? Didn't have to. It just dissolved on its own. The police never even checked it. Wow. Huh. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. So, ah. Why even bother? That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. Corruption! The bad guys have that much influence? <laughs> I like that he's like Murder the oldest the person station, there, but he's using such simple terms. We also knew of a possible conspirator. <laughs> yeah! Well, he's... They've got all this I, I know, stuff going on, and he's like, I haven't had anything to do with this. <laughs> and so it's like he doesn't even have the basics, and he's just following <laughs> along. I know. But, I mean, at this point, it's quite clear that he's like, well, anyway, these kids are doing the right thing. Yeah. There's no question about that. Thanks to Futaba-chan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. Yeah, that was that was really slick how oh, she yeah. dealt with the guard. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy plan. And does Sai know what happened to the director? Maybe not yet. It's been pretty and hectic. With that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Like she's been busy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. That's that's why we've got to stamp this corruption out. Mm -hmm. How many how many people have been affected by this? I mean, it's it, it's a conspiracy that stretches through the literally the highest levels yeah. of government as of the next election. The callous use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal. Yeah. If he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. Me too, too bad we're not dating. <laughs> it was I close. don't remember much. <laughs> it was close because we did actually get the other ending the first time. <laughs> I almost became one of your assailants as well. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news. Though. I bet. I bet. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. No. Oh. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. He did. It's he was like, we got him. <laughs> I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against. Yeah, Makoto had had the worst reaction. Yeah. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Damn, Skippy! Wait, what? Well, <laughs> of course that that makes him that much more unshakable when he knows yeah. when he knows what's right, and he doesn't get distracted by his extraneous things to think too much about. Uh huh. So it's easy for him to keep his faith. Can it, cat? In his best friend, you know. Right. Right. I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Yeah, that's now just that natural. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad, pretty bad. That's the whole point is is to like present the the, the facade of yeah. actually operating uh legally mm -hmm. very well from here forward i will do my utmost to assist i you. mean all of this crap all of this corruption needs to be stamped out excised and burned it needs to be excised with all the precision of a lumberjack um no 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 <laughs> collateral damage <laughs> okay or at least, no more than you can. That's you true. can't That's prevent. True. You saved me, after all. 
Though I do think it would be really good to not reveal to the public the existence of the supernatural in an irrefutable way. Right. That's reassuring to hear. Though I suppose depending on what town you're talking about in Japan, in the Persona universe, this may have already happened, but not to the public at large. Yeah, yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help too. Just let me know. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, do you, do you have a palace? Do you want to confront your shadow? Do you want to join? You should totally join, boss. Come on, Coffee Dad. Yeah, I want some adults in the team. Let's get some Persona 2 going. Eternal punishment. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, this would not have been possible without Sojudo. If Sojudo yeah. didn't discover the calling card that yeah. Kutaba kept, and they didn't actually spill the beans about this, what would the have coffee happened? coffee beans? I guess I did say that, yeah. What would have happened? Sai would have come to drop to, to drop Jito off. And he'd be like, what the hell's this? Yeah, but instead, he was he just went along with it. And, and now they have, like, a real base. Yeah. That they can safely use, so it really was a good coincidence. You know what could really help us, Sojiro-san, is if you make some master coffee. <laughs> Yeah, do you just want to make Master Coffee for us all day long? Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. I bet. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. <laughs> we can use the first floor now. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Not like he gets any business anyway. Yeah. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. It, I know, right? It's almost like some of us talk really loud. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty big loss for Sojido, but yeah. I mean, he's 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 doing it to help everything along. We can keep him afloat with the money from the dose. <laughs> Yeah, can, can we just, like, pass you a whole bunch of money? Like, it's totally cool. Here's a million yen. <laughs> ah, reporting it on your taxes. Oh, yeah. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you could just fake a whole bunch of receipts. Yeah. It would be funny if the, if the Phantom Thieves... Were, um, were identified and taken down through, like, attacks. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> Just like Al Capone. Jito Nakamura. That sounds familiar. It's me, Akechi. Enter. At least Jito remembered the name of the kid he randomly destroyed. Somewhat. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No, nothing in particular. Because they're just, oh man. As long as the catchy never goes to Shujin High, he can probably still attend classes. <laughs> More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. Due to age, I suppose. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. Grrr. Why did they get rid of him? He was never going yeah, to betray them or I something. I don't understand. I suppose it's just to make sure there's literally no connections to them at all. Yeah, but, like, the SIU director was not only influential in his own right, but, like... He never showed any signs. He was all on board for Plan yeah. Change Society. Yeah, the entire time. It just seems like an unnecessarily evil thing to do, like mustache twirling, you know? Yeah, like you cut off all of your allies, even the ones who you were never had any danger of. Well, we're not supposed to feel pity for them. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room, too. I kind of do feel pity for the SIU director. He didn't even have a name. He never had a name. Poor guy. And, like, to just be thrown aside like this. I mean, I, mean, I don't give a crap about him because he's an a-hole, but... Yeah, I mean, he he was as guilty as these two. Yeah. Equally guilty in, in all of this. It's like the difference between the SIU director and Kobayakawa. 
Yeah. Like, Kobayakawa, whatever you want to say about him, the guy wasn't evil and the guy wasn't a murderer. No, he was just a bad egg. Very good, Billy. Thank you. Let him have some dignity in death, God! Okay, fine! The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. If you if you were just going to own the next one too, then yeah. why don't you just leave the one you already owned? It's not like someone like Okumura who really did know too much. Yeah. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. Don't worry, you'll get yours. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> And on to our next story, the snap election for the House of Representatives. Now, I would assume, of course, that our uh, our seventh palace yeah. is going to be Pride Shido. Yes. But you, we also assume that there's going to be something after that, because there always is. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. That's gonna be our palace deadline, isn't it? Probably so, yeah. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Yeah, you still got somewhere else to go, and... Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together! We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him! And, uh... Sojiro is going to have some interesting things to say when he finds out about Shido. Yeah. Because he clearly despises him. Mm. He hasn't said it, but every time he's come up on TV, he's just sort of had that... Mm. <laughs> have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. Okay! we are. So, so they did. All right. Good. He said, Shido-san. But the point was, is they needed to address everything yes, in, yes. in sequence. And so now it's this time. Now it's Shido's turn. Shido? It feels like I heard that somewhere. He's all over TV, man. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? Huh? <laughs> I like how only Ryuji had heard Who of Shido. Who doesn't even care about politics? <laughs> I believe he's a politician. Remember, Ryuji? You said his speech was too loud. I still don't get why everyone was calling BS on me. <laughs> <laughs> For real? <laughs> it's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? What? Huh? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. He's up for election for prime minister. Is Saeed... Well, that that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Well, she's about to lay true. it out. It, It's... I think the idea of assuming that everybody in power is evil and corrupt... Is wrong? Is irresponsible and frankly, like, anarchist. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think that's useful for anyone. Um, however... No, oh, great. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Ha ha ha. I strike again. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. Uh, that was it. I wonder if Sae is going to take charge of the Phantom Thieves. Ha! I mean, every passing new character does kind of run the gra run the gang. <laughs> it's just a level up from Makoto because she's the older sister. Apparently, yeah. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. We've talked about that the whole time. How how it makes him like at first it makes him look it made him look bad when the uh -huh. thieves were popular, but at the end Because it, he built up their popularity it, so much. And at an end he his stance had never changed. It makes him look like he has great foresight and mm. wisdom. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next prime minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? Yes! If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapse. Basically, yes. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> 
Bushido, huh? All right. I would really like to hear about this. What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this. Sojido is way more involved in the main plot than we were expecting in the beginning, yeah. right? Yeah. I remember that we were first kind of complaining, like, oh, he's a confidant, so that means that he basically doesn't matter. Yeah, and that is still... What happened there is still kind of separate from this, but at least he's relevant to the plot. Just based Thank on goodness, the connections good. I had from my previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shiko. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. Would really like to hear why you say this. Mm-hmm. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Oh my! That's really reasonable for Sojuno to assume yeah, this. Yeah, especially if he thinks that he killed Wakaba. He's right! If, if if they would have known, then they would have been oh, going yeah. after him. The only reason that they didn't do something like that is they had no idea who they should target. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Which is how she found out about Sojido. Mm -hmm. Boss was one of those parties. And she she's calling, calling him boss, boss too! <laughs> I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. So what was he doing at this time? Was this before he had entered the diet? Yeah. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes prime minister? What about the world? God only knows. Oh, man. The issue is simpler than that. I mean, yes? an, an evil overlord with no sense of right and wrong, who's only after more power and self-aggrandizement? Yeah. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. At its base? Gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. I think everyone can agree on this target. Yes. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for prime minister. Got a hit! Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> duh. Ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location All be? All of Japan. Oh, we're finally gonna get yeah. one of those. What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. A laundromat! <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. It should be easy to find. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? I mean, other than all of Japan, the Diet Building? Aw, oh, really? Why not? Kind of... Yeah, but, that was it. But all of Japan. No, I agree with you, but I guess that's going to be whatever the 8th Palace is. I guess so. How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? To be fair, he's about to become Prime Minister! I, I mean, yeah, that. Yeah. Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Yeah. We do need to address the catchy. This is something we're probably gonna encounter him in the palace. Several layers of bosses, eh? Yeah. What about a catchy? What are we gonna do about we that? Waste time with him. We just gotta hit the head. Uh, I don't know about this that. This is gonna really come back to haunt us. Nobody against it? I mean, going after Shido is the thing to do, especially considering, you know, next month our deadline. Yeah. Wait a minute, if the deadline is then, I don't know what else is going to happen, but I think we might be able to make, if the deadline's to 18th, that means we're talking about, what, the 16th then for, for sending the calling yeah. card? Doesn't that mean we ought to be able to make it with the confidants if we don't have too many days where nobody's available? I'm really hoping, I'm really or hoping. Or where we have to go to Mementos at the Palace? Oh, you're right. Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. All right, guys, we do know that we have uh, Futaba left for a Mementos target. Uh, remaining is 
Shinya, Tower, um, Makoto. Uh-huh. Haru. And Haru. And isn't that it for the daytime guys? Yes. And we've already done it for the nighttime guys. So do we have any more Mementos targets that are going to be in Confidant events? Maybe Haru? Yeah, like Haru might have Sugimura? one. Sugimura? Probably Sugimura, yeah. So, please let us know so we can plan this. <laughs> Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. Maybe that's all of Japan. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. Yeah, you wanna come? Right? An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. <laughs> we're, we're missing a party member? We, yeah, we yeah! More. You, you wanna come? <laughs> we'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. By the way, what's up with Sojiro and this... This is something I've kind of, like, poked fun at a couple of times, like, throughout this, but that whole, Oh, I'm an old guy, that means I can't wrap my head about nothing that's going on! Technologically! Well, not just technology, but, you know, just sort of like the, the fetishization of the young. Like, mm. what, do, do you think that you hit, like, 32 and then you no longer have anything of value to do with the world? Right. Like, that's just, that really makes me angry. We're certainly not saying that because we're in our mid-30s. I mean, there is that, but still. <laughs> it's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow, then? We can meet at the diet building after school. <laughs> no, confidants! <laughs> no, no, we've got to get this out of the way, oh, then we you're get right. cut loose. That reminds me. What are you going to do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Okay, I guess they did release his identity, but we kind of got the implication that they didn't. I thought they didn't. Well, okay, so we can't do anything else while he's dead. Excellent! That means we have daytime! Okay, so we have... They gave us the 17th. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that... Okay, no, no, that's fine. The 17th, then? Yeah? Send the calling card on the 17th? No, 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 it's got to be the 16th. Well, whatever. I'm, let's just go with the 16th. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's just go with the 16th. Because if, if the election's on the 18th, then he'd have already... Yeah. He'd have already been elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as long as we get a few days left in November, I think we can handle it. So, is the rest of November going to be taken up with plot? I hope not. I hope not. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. Well. Oh, it's great that we're dating the teacher. The school. Huh. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. So, you mean I get to cut classes? Yes! What do you mean? This operation had another purpose, outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. Oh! No, oh, they're really going to take him down, huh? We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Ah! Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. I see. Really, really right. <laughs> like, word. Maybe instead of a... Forgot word. Maybe instead of a calling card, he's just going to make a public statement. Oh. <laughs> like, we're coming for you. Ram. Like they'll hijack a, hijack a broadcast or something. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Well, not maybe not a broadcast. Although oh, a broadcast would be the most would yeah. be more effective than doing something like you know, on the computer. big screen. Yeah, it's like they're really gonna ramp up the theatrics. That was the word I was trying to think of, <laughs> but my brain shut down, and then I had I was fixated. I was fixated on it. I couldn't think of anything other than something that started with R. Theatric starts with the T. Ramp was. The oh, word. ramp was the word. Okay. I started to say like rake, <laughs> like romp, rope, rump. I, I hadn't thought of Rump, actually. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. Rattle? No, 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 <laughs> enough of this. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff, too? <laughs> Good job, thieves! We're intellectuals, you know. Well, everyone else is kind of. Eh. <laughs> so it was really just Makoto and Futaba then. Which. I guess. Not even Jito. 
Yeah, that's. Mm, I don't really. That is kind of upsetting. And maybe maybe Haru was involved. That is. That does bother me. Yeah. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. Heck yes! We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. <gasps> Ryuji, are you okay? He's gone into serious mode, but I mean, he has been for a while. I know, but this when is like they, the first... When they've deigned to give him screen time... I know. Th that is one of the biggest weaknesses of this game, is that the cast, the cast is not balanced. Yeah. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even arrest them, it was yeah, kill them. Yeah. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. We'll need to buy all the high level persona. <laughs> I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. So Akechi really was a student when, when he had started doing this stuff. He's still a student. Is he still? Yeah. I thought he had already graduated. No, I'm pretty sure he's still in high school. I, may you, I, think I might be wrong. You're probably right. Huh. I'm also really glad we're getting this. And furthermore, I can't stop looking at like the, the collapsed radio tower <laughs> back there. What's up with that? Why is it like at an angle? I have no idea. Anyway. Back then. You earned the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. There's like another one to the right. Maybe it's a construction crane? Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. Luckily I had supernatural shenanigans to fall back on. So is it just like bitterness and anger at the system? The system screwed him as he tried to rise to fight it, so he decided to declare war on the whole country and just like stop at nothing to to take down the system that he had originally decided to fight. Hmm. But instead of fighting fair, he was going to fight with evil. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. So it really is that the two of them were discuss or er, the two of them were uh, working together based on mutual benefit. Yeah. We were actually talking off screen about this. Mm -hmm. And this was basically the conclusion that we came to, was that probably it's not that either one of these two was a subordinate to the right. other, but, like, Shido's, uh, Shido has this un the, uh, unimaginable authority, and Akechi has special powers, yeah. and they each need the other in order to get whatever it is that they want. Well, mm -hmm. we know what Shido wants, but not Akechi. Right. Probably the destruction of the system. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown. It's almost like they're not related at all. And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I don't believe you! I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Yeah. Because he's got his show face on. Yeah, he is totally full <laughs> of crap. But this is exactly the sort of thing that Shido wants to hear. Uh-huh. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. How interesting. He, he want, well, he just wants a monopoly on it. He doesn't, yeah, He doesn't yeah. want anybody else to be able to access it. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Akechi killed her. Ooh. He's the only one who could have. Yeah. Now that we know that for sure. And he's we been did, with him for two and a half years. Yeah. We did not know that at the time. Right. We didn't know that Akechi was the only person. It's like, it could have only been him. Right. Or it might not have. But now we have confirmation. But now we know. Well, well. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. 
Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. It's not that the SIU director did anything against him, probably. Uh -huh. It's that Akechi wanted to get rid of him. So he made it happen that way. Ah. That's that's what this seems to say to me. I f yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, alternately, this is true, but considering what Akechi has just been saying... Right. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Or... Okay, I guess it was I guess it was real then. Yeah. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. Oh. Akechi got that out of his shadow. But and you can trust uh -huh. Akechi. Shido has complete faith in Akechi oh, yeah. after all. This country's affairs have become stagnant. Just another corrupt politician to get rid of. Uh-huh. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. But what... That's what you're doing! The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. What sort... What an interesting choice of words. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Ruin? Ah! What sort of... of... Of a, of a personality does it take to say that with a straight face? Right? Like, <laughs> the political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests, says Cheeto. Hello, pot. I am the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> it is time we get to know each other. So then, is Akechi just... Well, I was going to say, is Akechi going to eliminate Cheeto too? Maybe. In Shido's palace, but what? What? Uh, he, Akechi couldn't do that until he gets whatever it is out of Shido that he needs. Yeah, we have no idea what that is. Right. I must agree. Because he deflected the question. Yeah. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. You are a horrible, evil man. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Especially since we eliminated the Phantom Thieves. Hasn't it already, and just like Bill, like, hasn't it already stood out for anybody who yeah. really starts digging into this? On top of that, what you just said, now that the thieves are gone. I can't, you can't do anything. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic ace detective was born. <laughs> he doesn't do any detecting because he's not a detective. I see. He just uses the metaverse and his partnership with Shido. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. Uh -huh. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. Bah, that's awful. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. <sighs> People like this are the worst, like the both of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, surprise, surprise, surprise. The main <laughs> villains of a game are awful. Uh, about corruption are awful. But nonetheless, just these are the worst sorts of people. I could rant and rant about it, but now really isn't the time. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Uh-huh. And like you said, it was a bit beyond my expectations, but flipping it made the negative press stronger. Like you said, Akechi just keeps putting his show face on every time he tells a lie, and there's no reason that he would have to do anything different with Shido. Yeah. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. He's a really pretty small man, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Manipulated, down to it. manipulated by nothing more than 
he manipulated by no special thing, just being told what he wants to hear and being offered things that he wants. Yeah. And you just give him those two things, and he does whatever it is that. Yeah. And it gets you wants him to do. The administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Uh huh. Even the government parties have begun splitting up, and they're dissolving just as planned. We see that with Yoshida's confidant, too. Yeah. Like the split in the ruling party. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. And what are you gonna do then? However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. You... I'll make this yes? country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. So, that's that's it? I mean, that's better than I will I will annihilate our population, but I mean, why does it take Shido to do that? Why does it take the metaverse to just gain gain power as a country? And, uh, okay, I, I don't want to talk about something like that. That starts to get. <laughs> I mean, this is a little more. This is a little more my specialty. But yeah, uh, I just want to stay away from that. In my entertainment, thanks. The public resonates with talking about it. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. <laughs> that is my duty as the chosen. I hate this type of thinking. I hate it so much. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. What are these? In that without you, I couldn't have done it. Yeah, exactly that. When I become prime minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country, perhaps even the world. Yeah. He's heading to Mementos. Yeah. He wants to go to Mementos. Yeah, when he said it right there. Yeah. We were really wondering if uh, going to Mementos with Akechi was going to have a special scene, and it didn't. He didn't react in any way, shape, yeah, or form. Yeah, but and, everyone else did. And he didn't talk about it. Well, this yeah. This a small yeah. scene. They had a small scene. They had a small little thing, and he didn't talk about it at all. And when you go to like have the conversations with people, he was just standing up and aside and never took place in any of the conversations about Mementos. What happens if he kills the ruler of Mementos? That seems to be where it's going. Holy crap! Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. Because he's trying by this, you know, the thieves are able to to gain more entrance into Mementos, the, the public's palace, depending right. on on uh, how much notoriety, good or bad, that they yeah. have, and this gives it to Akechi too then he can just run through all the way to the end to do whatever it is he wants to do at the end. But the, what he's done to everyone else is just kill them. Yeah. So I don't think there's any reason to assume that Akechi is not just going to kill the palace ruler of Mementos, assuming it has one. Yeah, assuming it works that way. Alternately, although Morgana is probably connected to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps Akechi is going to try and become the ruler of Mementos? Maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't really, I don't even think I actually feel confident about that, but. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. You don't say things like that <laughs> unless the opposite is true. Yeah. I am thinking about the future though. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I mean, he might try and rule the world or something like that. Right? Guess he won't be going to school for a while. And guess we won't be continuing today's episode for a while. And I got nothing, but we're still done. <laughs>